four dogs are usually quite annoying dogs, quite frankly. So what we want is a tired uh, and a relaxed dog because a tired dog is a happy dog, as we all know. What's up everyone? My name is Carolyn from dogpacker.com which is all about having fun with hyper slash active dogs like my cutie here Baloo. In this video I show you how to mentally stimulate your dog. Now in my opinion mental stimulation will solve the majority of your behavioral issues you have with your dog. So if he's destructive, he's chewing on your things or he's barking or whining a lot or generally all these bored dogs behaviors all of these can be solved to like 99% by providing enough mental stimulation for him so for instance as you can see here Baloo's really relaxed right now and this is because we had agility training in the afternoon and that leaves him totally pooped for the rest of the day the great thing about mental exercise is that it is much more tiring and rewarding for your dog than simply physical exercise. As a rule of thumb, 10 minutes of intensive mental stimulation is about equal to a one hour walk. So you can see you have to do much less, but it's much more intensive for your dog. In fact, the number one reason for behavioral issues is dog boredom and if you own a hyperactive dog you know what i'm talking about now while i highly recommend that you provide enough physical exercise for your dog mental exercise is what really tires your dog out what makes him really relaxed and really happy imagine if all your life you only had to do things that were physically challenging but you never had to use your mind you never had to figure out issues, solve problems. Imagine how boring that would be. I could never live like that. I mean, maybe some people would like that, but I think the majority of us would agree that this would be a pretty dull life. And that's exactly what it is for your dog. Especially very active dogs are usually also very intelligent. So they're really looking for something that challenges them. They, they want to solve problems and they want to have a job. Now, because I think mental stimulation is such an important topic, I've actually written a couple of blog posts about it. I'll link all of them in the description down below. So if you need more inspiration or if you really want a detailed walkthrough, make sure to check them out. Okay, now before I show you how to actually mentally stimulate your dog, I quickly want to go over what mental stimulation even is. Now stimulation for dogs can come in three different forms. Physical, mental and emotional. And all of them combined is what makes a dog happily relaxed and perfectly behaved and exactly what you want pretty much. So physical exercise is what you usually do with your dog. So that's walking, playing fetch, running, things like that. Mental stimulation is what I've said before, if your dog gets challenged, he has to solve a problem or he has to process information, he has to think about something, how to get to his goal, how to get the treat or whatever you're providing. And emotional stimulation is if there's a lot going on and he's observing people or dogs and there's just a lot of information to process. Now mental and emotional stimulation can often go hand in hand. So for instance, if your dog is allowed to accompany you to your office and is there for the whole day, it's usually a lot of emotional stimulation because there are people walking by, people want to pet him. And so this means there's a lot of information that he has to take in. But then it's also possible that he has to listen to your commands because you tell him to be quiet and to relax. And that would also be mental stimulation because he has to think about what you're asking him to do and then actually provide the behavior you asked him. So as you can see, this is a combination of the two kinds of stimulation. Now, why is mental stimulation so important? As I've said before, it's the number one boredom buster. And bored dogs are usually quite annoying dogs, quite frankly. So what we want is a tired uh, and a relaxed dog because a tired dog is a happy dog, as we all know. Not only that, a lack of mental stimulation can also lead to depression or anxiety. And it generally leaves your dog pretty inconfident because he can never prove his intelligence. He can never feel good about an achievement. So it's really also about that 
psychological part that makes your dog happy. Now, before you're thinking about how to mentally stimulate your dog, I highly recommend you first evaluate whether your dog gets enough mental or emotional stimulation or whether he needs more. Now, for instance, if we're looking at our dear sleepy dog next to me now, <laughs> it's quite clear that he's pretty content. He's rarely like that, so I know he's perfectly fine like that. I don't have to do anything more at the moment. However, if we didn't have that agility training in the afternoon, and if we didn't go for a walk where he's allowed to sniff, then he'd be pretty hyper at the moment. Now, that hyperactivity is clearly caused by boredom if we didn't do anything. However, if now, after the training session, if he was still having the zoomies or barking or being in any sort of way annoying, then this would be a sign of overstimulation or of him being overtired. Now, the mean part is that the two kinds of behaviors caused by boredom or overstimulation or overtiredness can actually be the same. So this hyperactive behavior can come from both sides. This is why it's very important that you first think about how much activity your dog gets and if he's had the whole day of with filled with lots of activities and this can also be emotional stimulation such as being at a picnic or having friends over and he's hyper after that then this is a clear sign that he actually needs a nap and that he definitely doesn't need any more stimulation. For more details on these two topics, overstimulation and overtired dogs, I'll also link another two blog posts down below that you can check out to find out more. Now that we've got the theory out of the way, let's finally look at how to mentally stimulate your dog. My five favorite ways of mental stimulation are interactive puzzles, scent games, teaching him a new trick, dog sports such as dog agility, and letting him work for his food. Now, I particularly like to combine those with some physical exercise such as a walk. The easiest way to do that is just, just let him sniff because sniffing is very rewarding for dogs. It's like reading the paper so they know what's going on, which dog was where and whoever else walked through. And it's a lot of information for them to process. So this is a perfect way to combine the two. So just let him sniff on one, two or all three of your daily walks and you'll likely have to do very little other men mental stimulation than that. Another way to combine it is to just toss some treats in high grass or somewhere where he has to sniff them out and then let him find them. I also love scent games for rainy days where I just hide the treats indoors and then he can go and find them which is also quite demanding. I've made another video about this topic, which I'll link in the cards right on top of my head. Now, there are a ton of interactive food puzzles available. I'll link a few of them in the description down below, and there are also some examples in the blog post I've mentioned earlier. Now, Baloo isn't very much into his food. I'm actually quite happy if he eats his food at all. But if your dog is very food driven, it's also a great, great way to let him work for his food. So you can either hide it in one of those puzzles or you can toss it in your yard so that he has to find it. Or you can simply only give him the food once he's done the trick that you asked him or you do some obedience training and you use the food as reward. So this is also a great way to combine two things that you do anyway. All right, that's it for this video. I hope you understood how important mental stimulation is and that you got some inspiration for some fun things to do with your dog. If you need any more advice or if you have any questions, leave a comment down below and I'll make sure to get back to you. Now, I think we really have to let him sleep. <laughs> so that's it from us. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more videos from Baloo and me how to get your hyperactive dog to be as relaxed as this. Until next time, bye bye!